Good morning. It's a beautiful sunny day today. Hope you're staying hydrated. Feels like so long since we've had a nice sunny day on a message video. Feels good. Today I'm at Today I'm at Bluff Spring Fen Nature Preserve in Elgin, Illinois. Never been here before, but sounds like we got some construction in the distance, trains, a lot of a lot of stuff going on around here. The location's also in the description as well if you'd like to come here and visit for yourself. This is actually a interesting forest reserve because you actually have to go through a cemetery to get back here, which was different. Never had to do that before to get to a place I want to visit. Today's message is let your challenges motivate you. Motivation is such an important thing to have in life. It helps push you towards your goals, keeps your interest and drive towards achievement, and can also light a fire underneath you to get you where you want to be, and then some. What motivates you in life? For me, anything that is unknown, new, difficult to me, technical, or just plain tough to do presents me with a challenge. When faced with a new challenge, the amount of unknowns involved can leave you lost and also guessing how to start the process. Some challenges can be so daunting from the outside that when looking into them can deter you from actually trying. I hope with this video I can help you from second guessing yourself and strengthen your mind to handle any challenges thrown at you, despite whether you've gone through it or not before. The first step is to think about what you need to do. Without a plan, you could be planning to fail. Going into something blind does help you get that initial experience and practice from something that you've never done before. But some things you can't just throw a blind effort at. Some challenges cannot be immediately duplicated for practice, or potentially not at all. It might be your only chance. Sometimes your first effort needs to be your best. And in fact, it should be your best. I urge you, if you're tackling a new challenge, at the very least, do some research and thinking about what you need to accomplish. Even if it is just a small task, you're much better learning the way that someone else has done it in the past. Or at least have a little background to help you through something that you've never done before. Planning through thinking and research will give you so much more of an edge, whether it's your first time or a hundredth time. We can always learn something new about sharpening our skills. I should have worn my boots. Had them with me. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, okay. A little swampy. We can always learn something new about sharpening our skills, and we can never learn too much. Learning new methods to your challenges can actually provide easier solutions and this can give you better ways of achieving your desired result. Once you've planned, of course, the next step is the action. Depending on how well you're able to execute, the progress you make, of course, depends on the challenge, your experience, knowledge, and sometimes a little bit of luck. You will be able to see how your plan has worked out and what you need to do, if anything, to complete the challenge. If what you did at first was unsuccessful, you may need to take a step back and rethink your plan. Of course, this is only if you're able to restart what you were doing. If not, you will have to continue on the same path, utilizing that first outcome, and try your best to complete the challenge despite that initial outcome. And you may actually be in a better learning position if your first plan didn't pan out. But this can leave you further from the solution and increase the difficulty of your challenge from your current position. This is where having the mindset of your challenge is motivating you can push you to new thought processes and give you new angles and perspectives about your current situation. This place is kind of different and I really like it. You can also learn even more background to the process because of any setbacks. I think the experience you gain through doing something is extremely valuable. The more you do something, the better you should get at it, and hopefully you'll feel a lot more comfortable about doing it or anything like it in the future. You've probably heard the expression, practice makes perfect. An extension of that that I learned from a previous boss and coworker, Dave, 
practice makes permanent, which I believe in more so than the prior statement. Practice gives you the experience and knowledge of doing and is invaluable in comparison to prior knowledge and research. It gives you an upper hand because you've done it before and you can take your solution, practice it consistently, and see if it's the best way to do something. And on top of that, you can test other methods to see which one works the best. And we got a little creek action here, which of course makes me happy. Not much to follow though, unfortunately. You will advance on a technical level and improve your skills. It can even help you deal with different challenges that are similar in nature. The final step goes along with what I was just saying, and is the reflection on how your process dealt with the situation. Looking back on your planning, your process before and during, what you've learned, the knowledge you've gained, and how your process worked to complete that challenge. This is where you can look within and fully understand where you went wrong, where things worked well, what you need to improve upon, and how you can ultimately do it better. Learning from your mistakes and successes is such a great way to learn. And that's why experiencing something is so much greater for your growth than just research. It has given you a perspective that you didn't have before in the process. The next time you take on this challenge, you've already been through the steps. You've already seen it once before, and you'll be much better off to complete it. Getting to the next step in anything is a challenge in itself and can push you in a lot of different directions. It can light new pathways for you and unlock different perspectives in life. It is important to chase these challenges because they will continuously sharpen your mind while also strengthening your processes and development. You can rise to new heights and gain a new confidence going forward. We shouldn't be afraid to do new things because that's what life is all about. That's what I'm doing here on this channel. Intentionally forcing things to stay the same and avoiding change is bad for your growth and can put you in a rut and a seemingly endless cycle. If your challenges can motivate you, then you'll never be afraid to try something new and it can lead you to places that you never thought possible. I hope this message was impactful and helpful in your daily life. Thank you for walking with me and experiencing a new place with me. And as always, let me know where I should visit next down in the comments. My name is Jake Fox. This is Walk, Talk, Bike, and Hike and I will see you in the next adventure.